morning. Good morning. Okay. So, this is our first meeting, no? Okay, then online lang siya. Okay, so most of the time, ang atong lecture is online. Since naman po'y face-to-face nga. Um, face-to-face mo po ang laboratory. Okay, so our schedule is Saturday. Ay, Saturday. I mean Wednesday, um, 10 to 12. Okay, so let's have a short, ano, and, um, orientation lang kung unsa ni nga course. Okay, by the way, I'm your instructor for this semester sa lecture. I am Mrs. Genevieve Ingalan Kisto. Eh, wrong. Uh -oh. Okay, so... So this is been a record. Okay, so we have statistics for life sciences. Okay, this ang course code nato is stat ten. What would you say, George? You have. Okay, so our course name is Statistics for Life Sciences. So this course deals with the nature of statistics, experimental design for life sciences, descriptive statistics for life sciences, hypothesis testing, one-way analysis of, and one-way analysis of variance. Okay, so kining our course is taken by students. Na ang course nila is related to life sciences like biology, environmental science, forestry, and agroforestry. So Kamo lang ang naay statistics for life sciences. Ang kanan pong mga mga students from social sciences na pud sila lahi nga statistics, they have statistics for social sciences. So inyo ha statistics for life sciences. Okay, so we have the overview for of statistics for life sciences, nature of statistics for life sciences, and we also have here wala na ko nabutang is the basic concepts in statistics. Okay, then we have descriptive statistics. We have the methods of data collection and presentation, which is, I think, na na mo'y idea na, since na man mo'y MMW, no? Measures of central location and measures of dispersion and variability. So, these three are all discussed in MMW. No, tapos we have research design, survey design, experimental design. Then, hypothesis testing, we have the basic concepts and theory to hypothesis testing. Testing a hypothesized value of a population mean. Testing the difference of two population means, which is the independent and paired samples t-test. Then, we have correlation, analysis, and regression analysis. Okay, then, sa unit 5, we have one-way one analysis of variance or ANOVA. You have important assumptions to ANOVA, ANOVA on CRD, ANOVA on RCB did, and we have the post hoc test. Okay. So, ang course requirement nato natay research output by the end of the semester. We have some summative exam, visas, and laboratory activity. So, under me, sa lecture is the summative exam and also the visas. Kining. Um, dari asa kining research output will be sa inyo hang laboratory. So, kamo ning magsabot sa inyong laboratory, ana, no? So, some of you, since duha to ni ka section ang gi merge for lecture, some of you is under still under me sa sa laboratory. So, I think ang schedule nato is Saturday. So, this Saturday is dili ta mag-meet since na am um, uh, this that is a holiday, national holiday na siya ang kanang Saturday. So, dili ta mag-meet na, no? However, na ako'y gibilin sa LMS nga buhato no ninyo. So, that will be presented next Saturday. So, na, you can do that in your vacant time. So, na dito ang instructions on sa on pag accomplish sa activity at as well as the groupings kay na nasa LMS. 
Okay, please tell me if wala mo na-enroll sa LMS. Okay, ang grading system na to is ang summative exam is 30%, research output is 30%, quizzes assignment is 20%, performance or laboratory activity is 20%. So again, ang summative exam is 30% and ang quizzes and assignments is 20%. So sa lecture, since ako ang maning summative and quizzes, that is 50%. 50% would ang gigan sa laboratory. We have the research output and the performance or laboratory activity. So, kana siya. Okay? So, summative exam o, o uh, quizzes or assignment ako ah. Research output o performance laboratory 20%. A total of 100%. So, ang passing rate na to is 50%. Pasabot, 50% stress na siya. Delete na siya dos class. Stress na ng 50. Okay? So, class policy. Student who could not comply at, it, at least 80% of the class part participation will be dropped. So, unsa man ng class participation. So, this includes quizzes, assignments, laboratory activities, exam, research out and research output. So, out Kinta high 10 na sila kabuok. So, dapat at least 8 kabuok inyo hang ma-comply. So, kung, kung less than ana imong ma-comply is uh, candidate ka para sa akong i-drop. Okay? Or ising ko. I-drop na lang. Okay? Kung less than 50% imong grade, so that is 5. No? Okay? So, student who misses the deadlines for the quizzes Activities or exams will not be given the chance to comply unless for valid reasons with evidences to support such reasons. Okay, so for example, magatag ko quiz sa LMS, so online no, so available siya for more than a week. So, kung mamis gihapon na ni mo more than a week na nako gibutang sa LMS, ma'am, nakalimot ko, diligid ko, mudawata na lang ga. So, please be responsible sa inyong mga deadlines ha, kay students man no. I know, magkamali maghapon mo, pero please be responsible sa deadlines. Labi nagtaas kaya kung gihatag nga time to complete such requirements. Okay? So, kung na nakalimot ram mo, dili mo na kuhatagan o kuan. So, an so dili si ma'am mo dawat nga makalimot. So, mamakak na lang kung nga nasakit ko. So, prove it to me nga nasakit ka. Tayo kong number si mama <laughs> or sa iyong word mate sa nadira. Okay, so classes will be blended online and face-to-face. -face. So, kung wala ko nag-ingon nga face-to-face, -face, class automatic online ang ato ang klase. So, most of the time, online lang sa, ta, sa lecture. Since mag-meet, mag maghihapon ta sa face-to-face sa, uh, -face sa laboratory. Okay, tapos akong ginagamit tuod class is Zoom. However, delete ni siya katong premium account. This is 40 minutes lang. And dili lang po siguro ta magsulat sa screen no while nag kuan pa ko nagamit. Okay, so after 40 minutes mahuman ni siya. So if after four min 40 minutes wala pa ta na sa tong discussion, please click the same link. Katong akong gyatag nga link. So mura tong nga link atong gamiton forever. Okay, the major exam is also face to face. Class meetings and or interruptions will be announced via Facebook or sa atong GC or sa atong LMS. Okay, so so you must come to class or virtual room on time for online classes. Turn off your audio and avoid unnecessary noise. Just turn it on when asked to do so. So when in class, we are something presentable. Then in asking questions during class, use the chat box to raise your hand to, or to be acknowledged by your instructor. So, in asking queries outside classes, example, kanang mag-chat mo or kanang maanhi mo dire, please paila mo on sa inyong pangalan, on sa inyong course, on sa inyong section. Kedaghan ang section nga akong gihandulan dili ra isa. So, dili ko ka-memorize kung aha ka nga section na bilong. So, para para dali atong process, magpailagid mo on sa inyong course, on in sa inyong section, sa inyong pangalan. No? So, any form of cheating is prohibited. So, that is a golden rule. Any form of cheating is prohibited. Okay. Ko na lang pong ishow ang atong syllabus dito para karo gita sa ato ang ano.
Okay, so by the way, ang atong syllabus is available siya sa LMS. You can click the link na sa LMS or course, course outline magto para guided mo kung unsay ato ang um, unsay atong topics for the entire semester. So naadera ang basic concept in statistics, nature of statistics in life sciences. Kana no? So, ako nang ipakita dili ang transmutation table. So, if you get 50% to 54%, ang imong grado is stress. So, if you have 55 to 59, that is 2.5 and so on. So, maka uno ka kung 90 to 100% imuhang nakuha. So, if pasar ka per me, pero igo-igo ra yun, so mag-expect po ka nga imuhang grado is nara dili ah. No? So, di ta mag-expect og dako ka yung grade if gagmay imuhang scores. Okay? So, bisan pagkompleto ka, bisan gula kay na miss ng mga activities ng quizzes, kung gagmay na ubus kina imuhang ring, uh, imuhang grado, so, kintay makakuha ka og uh, 23 out of 50. Na, 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 ubus na na siya sa 50%. So, no? So, kana inyo nag kana na inyong kanon class pag kabalo man mong computer grado no ana inyo hang uh, score divided by pila ang total score times kana 30% mao na siya dira ang sa weight then ni aday na nimo ang tanan so makita ninyo kung aha mo fall inyo hang grado okay So, ang isa na ito ka-topic is the nature of statistics for life sciences. Okay, so ang nature sa statistics for life sciences or katong overview na to for life sciences nga, nga ano is na siya, available na siya sa LMS ang video. So, ang inyong buhaton is inyohan ng assignment to watch the video. Okay, so, ang sulod na is you nino know, overview of statistics for life sciences. Ako rin mga po yung sa video. So, you can watch that. Kani? Na, I also have the, katong last year na ako nga, ano, nga, nga course orientation na po dito ah. So, kini siya, this is your assignment. Magtanaw ra mo sa video ani sa LMS. Okay, so, kini siya, this one. Yan na. You can click this, this one, i-click ra na ninyo, then gawas na rin tong video. And all, I also have basic concept selection videos. However, ako ni siyang i-discuss ka ron. Kini, this is your assignment nga i-watch ni ninyo nga video. Makita na ako kung pila ka bukang ni-attempt ana ang video, okay? And makita po na ako kinsay mga ni-attempt ana ang video ug tanaw. Then 1.2 basic concept of like ah uh, nga kuan mo na siya akong i-discuss today. And then okay. So again class if ever dili mahuman ang atong lecture tapos ma-end na ang discussion au oh, ang zoom please click the same link okay so we have the basic concepts of statistics okay so unsa man ang statistics unsa ang statistics class uh, nakaagi naman mo statistics and probability sa senior high unsa man na ang statistics your own words. So, sinyo na subtan statistics. Sama na. Mag-collect ng data. Mag-collect ng data. Okay. Ang sa pa. Collecting and analyzing numerical data, ma'am. Uh, collecting and analyzing numerical data. So, ah, uh, so, kabalo mo, nagid mo yung idea kung unsa yung statistics, no? Kay, ikan pa naman sa elementary ga, 
the deal na tag statistics. So, kining statistics is a branch of science that deals in the development of methods for more effective way of collecting. Sakto tayong gingon, collecting, na pag analyzing no? So, collecting, organizing, presenting, analyzing, and interpreting the data. So, mag-collecta, atong i-organize, atong i-present kung unsa na tong data, atong i-analyze kung unsa, then atong i-interpret kung unsa yung results sa atong analysis. No? So, that is statistics. So, ang statistic is essential tool sa daghan nga field. So, we use this in education, uh, kanang mga pila ang pasar, no? or unsa nga mga subjects dalisod ang student unsa nga items kanang item analysis sa mga kon sa mga teachers kung unsa nga item ang lisod sa test that is still statistics sa government pod we have the kanang mga employment rate mga unemployment rate mga underemployment rate or kaha ang socioeconomic status sa mga sa mga tao sa Philippines, may nun ana. So, statistics is very useful gid in many fields because statistics aids in decision making. So, for example, in in business food, no, if you have a business nga ka ng ice cream, kung unsa, uh, mag-survey mag ka kung unsa ang mga preferred nga flavors ice cream. So, based sa imong nakuha nga data, makakam up da yun ka og imuhang menu kung unsa imong i-serve sa imuhang customers di ba that is the use of statistics okay so what are two categories of statistics ang category sa statistics is descriptive and inferential na tayo gitawag descriptive statistic and inferential statistics so sa descriptive this the removal ang frequency or Dito niyo madunggan mga frequency, mga coefficient of variation, mga variance, standard deviation, percentiles, uh, fractiles. We have standard deviation, the mean, median mode, the variance. Muna siya ang under sa descriptive. Okay, inferential, dito ka makalungog mga significant difference, significant effect, significant association, significant relationship. No? So, unsay kalahian aning descriptive and inferential nga statistics? What do you think? Anyone? Okay, unsa man ang descriptive? Unsa man yung gibuhat? From the word, unsa man ay root word ana? So, descriptive, description, describe, no? So, sa descriptive, it is concerned with summarizing and describing important features of data collected using tabular and graphical displays without attempting to infer. Okay. So, iyahang gibuhat is iyahalang gi summarize, gi describe niya ang mga important features sa um iyahang na collect nga data no this ang uh, sa descriptive nag describe ra gid siya wala siya ni try to infer so for example we have kung nag gather ka og data for the number of covid-19 uh, infected in the year 2022 so imong gipakita is pila ang mean unsay age bracket sa uh, unsa nga age bracket ang kasagaran na infect ngayon ana so that is descriptive imurang gi describe ang imuhang data no kung important features of your data so sa inferential is concerned with making generalizations about a large group of observations based on the data collected from a smaller group so re requires statistical technique so kining sa inferential you are trying to infer or you are you are inferring the eye and predicting, no? Uh, for example, di ba ganina, no? Yarang describe Pero kung mukuha na siya, o ka nang mo-infer na siya, like murag i-predict niya, ang pila kaha ang number of positive or COVID positive in the year 2023. 
So that is inferential. Kay na na siya attempt to infer or to predict future nga mga values. Or for example, uh, ang ako ang ako ang score is akong score pagka finals kay 35 kay ang akong score sa midterm kay 35. Mga nana ba? Kaysa may sigsulat-sulat sa akong PowerPoint. Oy. Okay, so that's the difference between descriptive and inferential. So descriptive, nag-describe lang, inferential, it is concerned with making generalizations or inferences and predictions about a large group of observations. So let's have an example. Let us identify if this is descriptive or inferential. Okay, Lebron James wants to know his average score for the past seven games. Okay, unsa man na siya, descriptive or inferential? Descriptive. Okay, descriptive yeah. lang. Kay average, no? That is mean. Okay, describe ra ang iyahang performance sa the past seven games niya. So, this is descriptive statistics. How about Mrs. Planas forecasted to pay 2,000 pesos next month for her electricity bill based on her last year's bill? Okay, this is inferential. Na naman, iyahang forecast nga, ang iyahang bayro no next month, next month pa mana, hindi pa mana karun no. So, next month daw iyang bayro no kay 2,000, kay last year po, maupo daw iyahang, iyahang bill. So, yung gi forecast nga pagka next month. So, pasabot na siya ay gi predict nga, nga amount sa yung bill pagka next month. So, that is inferential statistics. Okay. So, these are some terminologies in statistics. Now, we have the population. So, population is the complete set of individuals, objects, or measurements under study. So, since it is not economical to akanang kintahay na mag-interview ang tibok population imong kwan, although um, kaya siya, pero grabe ka uh, time-consuming, very um, gasto, non-economical, dili siya economical. So, mag-sample ta. So, that's why in statistics, we have sampling techniques. Kung unsa ang pagkuhag sample na. So, pag magkuha na tag representatives from the population, that is called the sample. So, ang sample is a representative subset of a population. Okay, so population and this is the sample. Okay, ang data are facts or information that are collected for reference and analysis. So, uh, this can be numeric or non numeric. So this can be numbers or categories, no? Numeric or non numeric. Nanapotegitawag nga primary data. Ang primary data is gathered by the researcher originally, or the data gathered are original. So for example, you are recording the age of your classmate by asking them. So that is primary data. Kay kamugid ang nagcollect sa data. So, napatay kitawag na secondary data. The data were previously gathered from an original source. So, for example, kung magkuha mo data sa DSWD about the uh, list of the four piece beneficiaries in but one city, so ang nagkuha sa data is the DSWD, igo na lang mo na ngayo. So, that is secondary data. Diligid ka mo ang nag-collect, sila ang nag-collect sa data. Okay, well, ang primary data is ikaw mismo, ang researcher mismo na collect So, that is primary data. That's, so, I hope na dumduman primary data and secondary data. Okay, ang variable is a characteristic which may take on different values. So, for example, we have civil status. It may take on different values like single, married, or divorced. Okay, so you can also have the weight in kilograms. You have 45, 50, 60, and 45.5, and so on. No? So that is a variable. So let us determine the population under study and the variable of interest. 
A group of researchers is interested in determining the number of children below 12 years old infected in COVID-19 in NCR. So, unsa man atong population dere? Unsa may population nato dere? Atong population is the children, number, the children, children below 12, 12 years, years old, old in NCR, mm -hmm. no? So, ang atong population is children below 12 years old in NCR. Unsa man atong variable of interest dira? If infected ba ang kana nga child or dili, no? Mo na tong variable of interest whether or not the child has ever been infected with COVID-19. Okay, another one, a group of researcher is interested in determining the age of patients infected with COVID-19 in St. Luke's Hospital. So, unsa may population na to? Patients, ma'am, in St. Yes. Luke's Hospital. Patients in St. Luke's Hospital. Okay, so ang atong population is patients infected with COVID-19 in St. Luke's Hospital. Unsa may variable of interest na to? Ang ilahang? Age. Age, age. So, variable of interest is the age of the COVID-19 patients in St. Luke's Hospital. So, nasabtan, and say population and the variable of interest. So, ang variable of interest katong un sa inyong gusto kwa un nga data from them, no? Inyong variable of interest. Okay, diri a, if infected or dili, diri a ilahang age. Okay, so na the types of variables. We have the quantitative variable and the qualitative variable. Okay, so ang quantitative are variables that are measured on a numeric or quantitative scale. Quantity. So pasabot numbers na ay kabugaton, na ay kadaghanon. So that is quantitative variables. Ang qualitative variable meaning quality. So pasabot na siya ay categories na siya. No? We have categories, assumes value that are names or labels. Thus, can be categorized. Categorized. Categor these are categorical variables. So, categories may be identified by either non-numerical descriptions or by numerical codes. So, ang qualitative qualitative variables are kaning mga names or labels, no? So, pwede po ang kanang mga numbers as codes. For example, we have the address or house number. So, that is qualitative nga naman number siya, pero wala siya kabugaton or karaghanon. Pasabot, kung maingkog, for example, ang akong house number is 13. Ang house number niya or ang house number ninyo is 26. Dili pasabot kay 26 yung house number, mas dako yung balay kaysa sa ako ah. No? So, wala siya uh, kanang it is just a code. No? Kaning house number is just a code. So, that is qualitative siya nga variable. Another example is civil status that is labels or uh, kuha na siya kanang categorical data na siya, religious affiliation pa, um, sex mga ingunan na, no? So, that is qualitative variable. Eye color uh, so, pagyod. so, we have quantitative variables kato ni siyang uh, numeric in, in nature. So, dili lang siya code number. Gid siya nga na ay kadaghanon or kabugaton. Na ay quantity or quantitative scale. So, ang quantitative variables po has two types. We have the discrete and the continuous nga variable. So, kining discrete nga variable class are variables with finite or countable number of possible values. For example, age in years, number of female enrollees in CSU. So, kining discrete, ang iyaha lang itake is katong mga countable numbers or mga counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, or kaha, whole numbers like 0. No? So, dili siya mo dawat og kining na ay mga decimal no or kanang fractions okay for example ang age when you say age iba di man ta mo tubag og 
de ba kung pangutan kag how old are you I am 18 and a half years old dili ang tamang hon anak no 18 years old the good at ang tubag dili 19 years old the good or 20 years old the good ta mo tubag og 21 years old anak no so in years man so whole number the good or counting number the good ang atong tubag another Example is the number of female enrollees in CSU. So when you say number of female mga tao man eh, di ba? Mga babae. So, dili man tamo ingon o there are 4,500.5 female enrollees. Kaya wala may katunga nga tao or 0.3, walay 0.3 nga tao, no? So, Counting numbers, countable number, gitu sya. Okay, so mon asa ang discrete variable, so dili sya, ah dili pade ang kanang na imanga decimals. Kini continuous variables are assumes any value in a given interval. For example, ang height, ang weight. So kini sya, pade sya muka gamit og, ah mudawat og, um pade yang value is countable, pade pod na ay decimals. For example, ang height, pwede man kami ingon nga 150 centimeters akong height. Pwede po kami ingon o 150.5 centimeters akong height. No? So, pwede siya dere. Ang weight, the same as the weight. Okay, nasabdan ning duha. Discrete and continuous variable. Sabdan? Questions? Hello? Tanda, quantitative and qualitative. Okay, so class, since nand lang yung five minutes, no? Di o ganahan maputol siya da yun. Well, ang next mga good is mag-identify ta which variable ba si maputol. So, i-end na lang da yun ang Zoom. Then, please click the same link para mo join. After five minutes lang siguro. Okay, para makainom, makaihi pa ang uban. Okay? Sige, click the same link lang after 5 minutes. So, balik ta og 10.46. Okay? Sige, sige, bye. Okay, so padayon ta, no? We have... Naman ta. Basic concepts, discrete and continuous. Okay. So I hope nakasabot no. So let's identify kung unsa ni siya ng mga variables, kung quantitative or qualitative, or kung quantitative unsa siya discrete ba siya or continuous? Sige. Okay, so ang address, it, is this qualitative or quanti? Qualitative. Okay, qualitative. qualitative. So, address is qualitative. House number? Qualitative. Okay, quali, gihapo na siya. Although number na siya, that is a code raman, no? So wala siya ay kadagkanon or kabugaton, no? So dili siya quantity. So that is qualitative. Okay, weight in kilograms. Quantitative. Quantitative. So, quantitative. Is it continuous or discrete? Continuous. Continuous. Okay. Diaper size. Qualitative. Qualitative. That is small, medium, large, XL. Diba? Ano man ano? So, that is qualitative. Color of the leaf. Qualitative. Okay, qualitative. Number of units enrolled. Quantitative, ma'am. Okay, continuous or discrete? Discrete. Okay, discrete. Ito ka, number of units. Sky, whole numbers man siya. So, number, number of units enrolled, that is quantitative and that is discrete. SSS number? Qualitative, ma'am. Okay, that is qualitative. Number siya, pareha na sa house number, pero... That is a code, Raman. Okay, telephone number. Qualitative. Still qualitative. Okay, foot length in centimeters. 
quantitative mo. Quantitative and unsa na siya? Continuous. Continuous. Okay. Then brand of cell phone. Qualitative. 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 Okay, so master na. Okay, so pwede na mag-quiz. <laughs> okay, so kana siya no? Then statistics in plural sense is the summary measures describing specific characteristic of the sample. So ang statistic, ang pasabot ani niya is uh, this is a summary measures describing specific characteristics of the sample. Okay, so an example of a statistic, kung isara statistic is kanang sample mean, sample variance, sample standard deviation, basta ang iyang gidescribe or ang iyang characteristic is sa sample or characteristic siya sa sample, no? So kung gikan sa sample lang na siya that is called a statistic. So ang tawag pud if ang atong gidescribe or uh, a specific characteristic sa population ang tawag na niya is a parameter. Okay, so again, kung sa sample lang, that is statistic, pag sa parameter, that is a population. I mean, kung sa sample lang, that is statistic, kung sa population, that is a parameter. So, muna siya difference. Ang sample is statistic, sa population, parameter. Okay, for example, the Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs wants to find out if there is a need to postpone opening of classes, they interviewed 1,000 of the 5,000 enrolled students in the university to, ac to assess the readiness of the students for online learning. They surveyed um, the survey results 79% of 1,000 students are not yet ready for online learning. So, question on 79%, is this a statistic or is this a parameter? Kining 79%. Saan na siya? Statistic or parameter? Again, ang statistic is from the sample. Ang parameter is sa population. Saan na siya? Statistic. Okay. So, this is statistic. Nga naman. From the sample, mga 1,000 out of 5,000 enrolled students okay. in the university. Okay, so that's correct. Si Jordan, to no? Ag or si Loy, kit saan to? Ah, okay. Okay, so that's correct, no? Okay, so very good. Ang yahang kanang 79% is from 1,000 lang, which is a sample lang, gikan sa 5,000. No? So, kini siya is the sample, kini man si 5,000 is the population. So, kay kanang 79 is gikan lang man siya sa 1,000, which is the sample, meaning kining 79 is a statistic. No? 79% is a statistic. So, I hope nasabta na siya. Okay, so let us recall now we have a variable is a characteristic which may take on different values. So these are some of the examples of a variable. We have sex, civil status, height, income, class ranking, citizenship, age, temperature, standardized exam score, time of the day, IQ, socioeconomic status. So, kana si sex, si height, si class ranking, and si temperature. They have different classifications or they have different levels. Okay. So, diba, if you say sex, that is male or female. Si class ranking, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Si height is kana example. And temperature, we have these examples. And kana sila lahi lahi na sila og levels of measurement. Okay. So kini si sex, this is categorical data, no? Categorical nga data. Or this is qualitative, no? Okay, categorical, qualitative. Tapos dili nato ma-order ang iyahang choices, no? Si male dili siya mas dako kang female. Si female dili mas dako kang male. So as you can see kana Kining class ranking is pwede na to ma-order yung choices. 
kining sa female o male dili na tom order dili pa di una si male kaysa kang female ka pareha sa sila no sa class ranking pwede na to ma ma order ang temperature is mga numbers gyapon siya pero kung iyong kag zero ang temperature dili pa sabot nga walay temperature no again temperature Ngun ana yung mga values pero kung may kag zero ang temperature dili pa sabot nga walay temperature zero lang iyang sukod ang height these are the values pero kung may kag zero ang height pasabot ana wala gid kay gi measure ka wala may height no kung walay height wala gid kay wala gid siya height zero ang ang Me, uh, zero meter pasabot walay height. Dere a uh, zero ang temperature na agapoy temperature. Dere is wala gay height kung zero ang meter. Zero meter. Okay. So ang kagrupo ni sex is si civil status, citizenship, ang income, age, height, class ranking, ug socioeconomic status. Kani sila marank man sila duha, no? Ranking good. Kani socioeconomic status kanang uh, lower class, middle class or upper class, di ba? Marang mana na to sila. Kini silang tulo, dili na to marang. These are categorical data, tapos dili na to ma order ang ilang choices or ang ilang uh, lagi ang mga choices sa ilang ang variable, no? Kining income, age, height, grupo daw na sila po. Kanto ni silang pag may kag zero, wala giyod. Kini si standardized exam score og si temperature og si IQ kung may kag zero ang temperature dili pa sabot walay temperature kung ang standardized exam score kung may kag zero dili pa sabot nga wala siya score ang IQ kung may kag zero dili pa sabot wala siya IQ no So we have the levels of measurement so unsa man ang measurement meant this is a process of determining the value or label of the variable based on what has been observed okay so ang first na level is nominal level ordinal interval level and ratio level so kana siya no nominal ordinal level interval and ratio so as you can see ang lowest among them is the nominal level ang highest is ang ratio so let's start with the nominal level Ang nominal level is kanang labels or names or categories. No? So, for example, katong sex, we have male and female. Okay, so frequencies or counts of observation belonging to the same category can be obtained. So, for example, male and female. Pila ka book ang male? Pila man ka book ang female? So, yun na na. Muna siya ang nominal level. So, again, example, sex. Okay, this is the lowest level of measurement. Ang ordinal level is the data collected are labels with implied ordering. So, pwede na siya categories, pero na siya ordering. This does not indicate the magnitude of the differences between measurements. So, for example, class ranking. No? That is, pwede na ito makategorize uh, in, ang first honor, second honors, mga na, no? So, ma-order na to siya. Categories with orders. So, for example, po, year level. So, category man na, ang year level is first year, second year, third year, fourth year. So, pwede na to siya ma-order. No? So, na siya'y order. Ang nominal is walay order. Okay, ang interval, ang katong example ani is katong temperature. So, this level of measurement does not only indicate ordering but also exact distance between values of the measurement. Okay, this lacks absolute zero. So, again, ang interval, pasabot ani, uh, ang iyang diingon kay lacks absolute zero. So, kato ninyo yung mga numerical values na kung may kag zero, dili pa sabot na wala. For example, again, is temperature. Kung may kag, ang temperature is zero degree Celsius, dili pa sabot wala temperature. Ang sukod lang niya is zero. Another example is ang imuhang exam. Kung zero imo score, dili pa sabot wala kay score. Di ba? Kung may kag, wala score, pasabot wala man na take. Pero kay, na kay score, zero lang. No? So, that is interval level. Okay. Ang ratio level, ang kalahian ani nilang duha, 
pare-pareha rin niya. Ang kalahian ng gid nila is ang katong ang interval level lacks absolute zero. Ang ratio level has absolute zero. Kung may kag zero, example ani height, weight. Kung may kag zero ang height, pasabot wala gi height. Kung zero ang weight, pasabot wala gi weight. No? So that is zero absolute zero. Again, kung may kag zero, wala giyod. Ang interval kung may kag zero, dili pasabot nga wala. Okay? Mo ilang kalahian. Ang nominal o ordinal level ang kalahian ani kini dili makatig ma order or ma rank dili ni ma rank kini ma rank ang ordinal. Okay? Sa so, nasabtan. So, dabe makasabot ba let as identify. Okay, so katong ganina sex civil status and citizenship that is under nominal level. This is the lowest nga level of measurement, class ranking, socioeconomic status, time of the day. Again, ang socioeconomic status ka ng lower class, lower middle class, middle class, upper middle class, and upper class. Diba? So that is ordinal level. Okay, temperature in Celsius, standardized exam score, and IQ, that is interval level. Tapos ang height, income, age is in ratio level. So of course, ang income, this is it, is ratio level. Kung may kagwalay income, au zero iyang income, pasabot wala gud siya income. No, kay zero man. Kung ang height is zero, pasabot wala gud siya height. So again, ratio level is the highest level of measurement. Okay? Okay, so let us determine if nakasabot mo, let us determine the level of measurement for of each variable. Okay, zip code. Isa mo na. Ang zip code is... Isa mo na, nominal, ordinal, interval. Nominal, ma'am. Okay, that is nominal. Okay, so that is a code drama ni, no? So that is qualitative. Tapos dilip po na na ito siya ma-order. Okay, brand of shampoo used. Nominal. Nominal. Nominal gahapon. Correct. Okay, weight. Ratio. Okay, that is ratio. Correct. Okay, police rank. Ordinal. Ordinal. Okay, that's correct. Okay, room temperature in Celsius. Interval. Interval. Diaper size. Nominal. Nominal. Nominal na. Ma-order mo na na to. Ordinal. Naman kay XS, small, medium, large. Diba? Ano mo na? Ma-order mo na na to. Yes, ma'am. That is? Ordinal. Ordinal. Okay. So, I hope nakasabot, nakasabot mo, nakasabot ra mo. Ordinal, nominal, ratio, interval. Okay, so that's it for today, class. Okay, so for for the assessment, ang ako na himuan pa for today is assessment on on levels of measurement. Wala ba ko buhat ato ng sa qualitative or quantitative discrete or kung ano pa ko buhat ato. So ang niyo hasang buhaton is kining levels of measurement. So this is due on March four, twenty twenty three. So that is on Saturday next week. So please answer this in your own pong identify kung unsa siya ng level of measurement. Okay, so kaning ato ang klasik karon. This is yes, hapit na sangka. So kaning karon ato ato ang klasik is recorded and also naapod tay mga videos nga di prepare for this. Kung dili mo ganahan aning recorded kay taas ka ayo, you can watch the videos nga shorter lang na aderi a. Tapos, kini ha? Ay, do not forget to to take this one. Basin makalimot mo, March 4 pa ang deadline. Pero you can take this as early as today. Okay, so ang kining PowerPoint nga kung gipresent, ako na siyang i-convert to PDF and I will upload it sa LMS. Okay? So, kini pong recorded, ako na yung i-upload. Okay, understood?
Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, any more questions? Clarifications? Okay, again, sa Saturday, dili ta mag-meet kay holiday man. But, ang katong under sa akong laboratory, RSY11, man siguro ang under sa ako, ah, nga laboratory. So, katong mga under na ako, na amantay, kuan, atay, saan eh? Na ako gibutang sa LMS, katong sa laboratory nga section, nga unsay buhaton ninyo for activity 1. If Saturday, mag Saturday, man yata inyong hang schedule, no? Kung Saturday inyong schedule, so dili mag-meet. Okay? So, however, na, na ako yung pabuhat nga, nga activity. Okay. So, questions? Clarifications? So, kung wala na, na lagi Beverly Seras Pedere. Igun sa Takaday. Okay. Sige, ko para ay sa so panglakaw ha kay mag-check attendance pata by opening your cameras kay akong screenshot kung kinsay present today. Sige daw, open your cameras. <laughs> okay. Sige, one, two, three, smile. Sige, yes, sa kuan e of kay napa yun kay napa second page. One, two, three, smile. Okay. So, thank you class for joining the synchronous class today and see you again on Wednesday. Bye, bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.